Doing numbers like equations Trench talk When you jump up off the porch as a youngin' And start posting on the block with the junkies And get it bounced Rule number 37 People will come back into your life After they get disappointed by the people Who they thought were better than you What's good, what's good, man? Back to your boy being there Child of Childish Vision YouTube channel Don't forget to hit that like button And hit that subscribe button for me, man but we're going to get into the topic today, man. I, I seen this clip um, on Instagram or whatever, you know what I'm saying, about people returning when they get disappointed by the person that they was chasing and stuff like that. I've seen that a lot in relationships, you know what I mean, in my earlier days, you know what I mean, dating and stuff like that. And I've always sat back and, and said, like, who influenced you to go after a person that don't really love you? And I feel like a lot of times when I was dating, a lot of women know the guy that really loves them, and then they know the guy that they got to chase, and, you know what I mean, for for zero, to get zero at the end, you know what I mean, and there's a respect level when I see certain activities and things like that, certain maturity, like, of course, I'm in my 30s now, you know what I mean, when I see a woman that's like, I say about 25 and up, you know what I mean, I think you should get to that clip where you understand, like, this is pure love, and this is what I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes I feel like in life when you're younger, you, you're trying to find your best option, but you already know sometimes like the characteristics of the person that you're dealing with. You know what I mean? Is it really your best option? I've seen times where maybe you wasn't the, the richest person out there. Maybe you want to have like a bunch of money, but your character showed that you are a go-getter, a hard worker, and a person that knows how to love. And it's one of the, it's, it's my characteristics all the way. Like, I've always been a person that was conditioned for marriage. I've always been a, a person that was conditioned that know how to love and bring a strong connection to the women that I'm with. But I feel like a lot of times in the environment, you have so many people with broken relationships and broken uh, mindsets that they're telling people the wrong information. And that's what I notice a lot within the communities and stuff like that. Like a person can see your character and see that you're different from everybody else and you a stand up individual. And they'll tell their peoples not to mess with you, this and that, knowing the person that they telling you to mess with is only from a financial standpoint, not a character standpoint. And I think a lot of time finances and different things of that nature can mess up, you know what I mean, the mindset. And like I said before, I feel like a person should be able to provide financially, but you also got to identify the characteristics of the actual person and not just look at what, how much money they make in their friends of that nature. Once you identify the true character of the person, if you vet that person properly without a sexual mindset, then you will get the opportunity to see if this is what I'm willing to be with forever. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I see this a lot, though, man saying this a lot in relationships and friendships and stuff like that where people treated me the worst and then they come back and they apologize because the thing that they was chasing hurt them so bad that when they they, they want to come back they want you to hug them they want you to love them you know what i mean and, and like i said before back in those days i would do i would fall victim to trying to heal somebody that don't see the value of me you know what i'm saying like they, they only come around because they broken by somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Or they left you to be with somebody else and come back, you know what I mean? Just needing your healing, knowing that you are a person that's going to give pure love and genuine love, you know what I mean? So like I said before, man, it's like, I've seen this before, you know what I mean? I feel like, man, it's, it's such a, it's a painful, it's a painful feeling for a person like myself that went into the relationship with a good mindset, looking at you as somebody that, I could have seen forever with, you know what I mean? And then you leave and chase something that's temporary, you know what I mean? That will never, could have never last for a lifetime. And then you come back with, with all these expectations from, you had all these expectations for an individual that you knew that wasn't going to work. Well, you had a person and you knew the expectations that it was going to work, but you ran after something that you knew absolutely wasn't going to work for acceptance of people in the environment. It's acceptance. It's just, it's, that's all it is a lot of times. Because I feel like when I think about myself and, and my community and things of that nature, I feel like people go off popularity and things of that nature, influence and within the environment. You know what I mean? They don't really, like, like they'll see the character is better than this person, but they'll go off of 
what is the, the environment saying about this person? You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times people just want to be in the crowd. I've always been an oddball. I've always been a different type of person. You know what I mean? Where it's like I'm going to always stand out because I'm not the type of nigga that, um, you know, like back in the days I would see uh, uh, young boys wearing the same shoes as they homeboys. Like there was couples or some shit. I never was into that. I'm not about to put on Jordans and we and you gonna have matching outfits with my homeboy. We got matching outfits, matching shoes. We might well kiss. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I looked at that as a man. You know what I mean? Like I said, I didn't grow up with my father or nothing like that, but I grew up around some strong men. You know what I'm saying? Where I looked at that type of, in that imagery always looked weird to me. Homeboys wearing the same clothes and shoes and shit. Like, that's like, I don't even like that in dating with a, with a woman. I don't want to be wearing the same shoes and clothes she wearing. You know what I mean? So let alone wearing the same shoes and clothes my homeboy wearing. Like, that's a no-go. You know what I mean? If they wearing Jordans, I'm wearing Charles Broccoli. You know what I'm saying? They wearing Broccoli, I'm going to wear some Dion's. It's just that's my style. I don't want to wear the same shit you wearing or doing the same shit you doing. You know what I'm saying? But other, unless it's like we walk on some eagle shit. Like, other than that, like, no, nah, bro. <laughs> Not to get too far into that. But like I say, I feel like when I dated a lot back in the days, I felt like um I experienced that thing where the people in the environment persuaded the person that I was with to go a different option and feel like, oh, you could do better than this and that. But the option that they chose hurt them so fucking bad that they they want to come back because the love that I gave, they never been able to, to refine it or resurface that type of love, that type of care. And like I say, the people that they chase hurt them over and over again. It's the idea of something just by influence and popularity. That's all that shit be. It's not real. You know what I'm saying? When you get real, you just look at things from a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, I let people experience life and I just watch from the outside. You know what I mean? And I just I see what it is, man. A lot of people chasing some shit that ain't real. You know what I mean? From every home girls or people I talk to, I see them do this shit a lot where it's like, yeah, have the good person in front of them and they'll go chasing after some shit that they know ain't gonna never work. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm telling you, they'll, they'll have a good person and care so much about what the home girl saying, caring so much about what other people saying that they miss out on the person that they could have been with forever for chasing some shit that did, for nothing. Yeah, I mean, Homewood told me some shit one day, like, it, it's just all these materialistic things that uh, uh, mess their mind up. It, it, it takes away their true worth and, and, and the, the true things about themselves, man. Like I said, you can get a person that got those things and have those good characteristics. But my whole thing is identifying characteristics over the financial things. You know what I'm saying? Characteristics over anything. You know what I mean? Point blank, period. Because at the end of the day, you can build a stronger bond, a stronger wealth uh, connection with somebody that got, that got integrity instead of being with somebody that don't got integrity and can really F up your whole situation. But that's all I got to say about that, man. I love y'all, man. Peace, man. A will to win a healthy life. All natural products. Come join the new movement, guys. We got products in different categories such as sports, weight loss, beauty, and also household products that's all made all natural. Click the link in the description. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content.